In this video, I'm going to be giving three possible reasons that people are upset that Kendrick Lamar is performing at the Super Bowl instead of Lil Wayne. Um, I saw a lot of young dogs, especially like the younger rap fans, being like, what's the big deal? Why would, why would it be Lil Wayne? And I just, I feel like we all got to like calm down a little bit. At the end, I'm going to give my take on the whole like Kendrick versus uh, Lil Wayne thing at the Super Bowl and my, my feelings on it. But I just want to like present some context to some of the younger rap fans or some of the older rap fans like myself who just maybe haven't like thought about it in a while, who maybe need their like memories refreshed. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Dr. Marcus Norris. I am a composer, producer. I've worked with Beyonce, Andrew Day. I'm not gonna flex too hard on you in this video, but I just know that I work in music and I know music. So the first reason that people are upset that Lil Wayne isn't performing at the Super Bowl is because he's one of the most influential rappers ever, full stop. And that's not debatable. So many styles that seem like diverse styles now, if you trace them back to their lineage, like Lil Wayne is like the root of that tree. It's like Young Thug style, straight from Lil Wayne. And, and Young Thug has like talked about this at points. Um, look at this, like this Playboy Cardi style. Look at like that whole SoundCloud era rapper with like dreads and face tats and stuff. It's like who else do I know with dreads and face tats? Lil Wayne. He's done so many different styles, like that auto-tune style is a thing, and I don't think he gets enough of that credit. So much of that is Lil Wayne. The fact that a lot of these artists have like Lil in their name, it, it, it's right there in your face. Um, Lil Wayne is like undeniably one of the most influential rappers of all time. And that doesn't even count like the artists that he's given us. Like he also gave us Drake. And then on the other side, you have Nicki Minaj, who's then opened the door for this wave of like women rappers who are running things right now. If you haven't seen it already, check out the video I made about like why women are dominating rap right now. But like a big part of like opening that door is Nicki Minaj. And you don't have the, the Nicki Minaj we have known and love without Lil Wayne. Next time you see some new rapper, see if you can see some Lil Wayne in there. The second and a, and a pretty obvious reason why people are upset that Lil Wayne is not performing at the Super Bowl is because he's from New Orleans and the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. Now, Jay-Z did say like a, a couple years ago at some point in time, he was like, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do like rap music from specifically where it's at. He gave the example of Tampa. He was like, sometimes it might line up like that, but we're not gonna like start with that goal in mind. No, Tampa's next year. I don't, I have, I love Tampa Bay. I don't have no idea who, who's from there, who performed. <laughs> that said, it did line up in a huge way in LA where Kendrick also performed with Dr. Dre and Snoop and all these people. And then adding on top of that, like Lil Wayne has been like very public publicly campaigning to perform at the Super Bowl. He said once, you know, like, I hope I do enough so that I can do it. I'm gonna talk about this like public aspect of it a little bit later and how that relates to all this uh, when I give my thoughts. But the fact that Lil Wayne is from Louisiana, he's from New Orleans, um, he reps it hard, is like, you know, part of that first wave of rap superstars from there. And third, at one point in time, Lil Wayne was literally the biggest and best rapper in the world. He came out and said, I'm the best rapper alive. And a lot of people, the majority of people accepted that as fact. I kind of need to like paint the picture for some of like my younger rap fans here. I think it was 2007, an article came out about here are the 77 best Lil Wayne songs so far this year. He was on everybody's songs. He was doing these mixtapes and I, and I want to like paint the idea of like what mixtapes were at the time. It's different. It wasn't just like, oh, this is a project that I don't have the heart to call an album. It's like it was he would take like other people's songs and just like, here's a better version of it. Here's just me rapping over it crazy. So Lil Wayne didn't invent mixtapes by all means. But for me, he really took it to what the peak of what it could be. Like he pushed it so far that it kind of broke after that. And now mixtapes are less of, less of a thing. Now that does have a lot to do with streaming and like, you know, the legalities of it and, and, and all this. But I think Lil Wayne kind of pushed it to like, this is as far as mixtapes can go. My favorite mixtape all time, 
drought three, look it up, do, do your Googles, do your homework. I was born in 91, so when I look at like Michael Jordan and everything I know about Michael Jordan being the great, the way my dad talks about Michael Jordan is he explained it to me one time. He was like, yeah, these new guys, like they ball and they, they doing all this stuff and they're great at it. He was like, but the difference is when Jordan was in his prime, we were like, what is this man going to do next? And that's what it was like watching Prime Lil Wayne. And I will say some of the rapping I've been seeing Wayne doing, even lately, it's 2024 at the time I'm recording this video, like some of the verses he's done in the last like year or two, I've been like, man. He really cares about the art of rap. He's an artist, he's a craftsman. People aren't wrong for being upset in my opinion. But I, I will say this, for me, I think it's just Kendrick's moment right now. Like I didn't take this as an anti Lil Wayne. I think it's just Kendrick's moment right now. He just came out of like the biggest rap beef ever and won in a very landslide way. We've never had this big of an audience looking at it. I think it's Kendrick's moment right now, but I'm very firmly anti the Lil Wayne slander. And I do want to just take this moment as a human being, as a black man in America and say that like, I thought it was so dope that Lil Wayne, he recorded this video. That hurt, hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about, it hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that, but I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um, so it hurt, it hurt a whole lot posted or include a clip of it or something. And he was talking about like how not getting this hurt him. I think we need more examples of black men being vulnerable in that way. Cool black man doing, you know, formerly the biggest rapper in the world, someone that a lot of young dogs look up to. And he's being vulnerable in this way and talking about his emotions in a public way and talking about being hurt and working through it. I thought that was so dope, just as a human being. I hope Wayne gets to do this at some point in time. He, as he talked about, this means a lot to him. I hope it lines up. I also understand like it's Kendrick's moment right now and, and I get why that happens. But I wanted to make this video for some of the younger ones specifically. Like I said, some of the people my age or older who just might not have like remembered or seem to have this like short-term memory that a lot of hip-hop fans have. So I think Wayne's one of the goats, man, undisputedly. All right, till next time.